Hey, this is Chad Ferguson here with LearnToCatchCatfish.com and I want to talk to you a little bit today about a product I've been using for going on probably about six or seven years now, maybe a little bit longer, called Digger Anchors. And I've used every kind of anchor out there that there is from uh, just standard mushroom anchors to different kinds of fluke anchors and I've yet to find a product that works as well as digger anchors do. Uh, boat control is a critical element of fishing for catfish. There's nothing worse than when you go out, you find blue catfish or channel catfish on a ledge or on a hump on the edge of a riverbed and you mark those fish and when you want to anchor up and cast into where those fish are holding you go out, throw your anchor out, you can't get your anchor to hold or you can't get it to grab quickly enough to anchor where you want to be. And I've yet to ever have that happen fishing with these anchors. Again, they're called digger anchors. They're absolutely the best anchors I've ever used. Um, prior to using these, I've used to lose a lot of anchors getting hung up in rocks and stumps and because one of the features that these anchors have built into them uh, I've never lost one of these anchors. It always grabs when I need it to grab and it always holds when it needs to hold. Uh, you can look at my website txcatfishguide.com or on learntocatchcatfish.com. I uh, fish from a 22 foot center confole express HD 22 cc and uh, I use two of these anchors on my boat uh, most of the time one of them will hold but on occasion I want to anchor sideways in some pretty heavy wind so I'll have to use two of them. I've never had a wind blow that these anchors will not hold my boat. I have fished with waves coming over the front end and the bilge pump pumping it out the back end as fast as the water is coming in the boat and these anchors have never broken loose on me. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of the features of digger anchors, show you how they work, and some of the key points involved in this product. Okay, so this is the uh, digger anchor here, and as you can see, it, it looks a lot like a fluke, a regular fluke anchor. The biggest difference is the way this is molded right here um, allows the anchor to dig in much quicker. And this anchor, again, you don't have to use chain with it uh, like you have to do a lot of the fluke anchors. The biggest feature, though, is this spring mechanism that's inside of this arm here where your rope ties onto this. As you can see here, this, um, this mechanism pulls up and down and allows this anchor to break free. So. It comes out of the mud like this. Most of the time, all the mud will fall off of it. And if you get hung up in rocks or tree limbs or roots of trees or anything like that, more often, most often, then it's gonna allow the anchor to break free. I said, I've been using this for a number of years now. I've never lost one. I've had some situations where I've had to tie the rope off to the cleat on a boat and pull it loose, but it's always broken free. I've never lost one had to cut the rope like I used to have to do with a lot of the older anchors I use. And uh, once the anchor breaks free, you get it back up in your boat. You just pop that back in there like that and you're ready to go again. About the only maintenance you need to do is just try to, every once in a while, put a um, little bit of WD-40 or something down inside this little spring here. Otherwise, it'll get kind of stiff over time and, uh, and won't break free quite as well as they do when they're new. Uh, again, this is called Digger Anchor. For more information, go to learntocatchcatfish.com. I have a full review and tons of great tips and tricks for fishing for catfish.